that I'm opaque and I paint urban pop art chaos. I mean, I've drawn since I was a child on paper. That's how I was entertained in restaurants whenever we went out, whenever we went anywhere. That's what I was given, crayons and paper. And I've always loved it. One of my earliest memories of what I later became to really kind of define me throughout my teenage years and early 20s was sitting in a math lesson with my best friend behind me with he was doing his brother's tag on a piece of paper which was just his name Tom in, and it was so simple but it just blew me away I, and I didn't know what it was um, and he told me and from that point I had to try and work out what that thing was um, and I did. I went on that fucking journey for sure. I've had numerous tags, starting off biting Easy e at age eight, and it was shocking and done on all of the underside of the desks at the school I was at. And then it's like anything, you learn, you find ways to find out about a subculture and especially back then it was like very early days of the internet. Even to this day for me graffiti is about hand styles, it's about throw ups and it's about the illegal aspect of it for sure. It's a grimy subculture that doesn't need to be fluffed up with it's it's about the dirty side of it, the dirty aspect of it, painting panels and yeah, that's the shit I love for sure. This comes down to how what my mental state is about and I try to chase this idea of perfection within letters um, to, uh, to an obsessive point. It was, it, it was nothing but obsession and <clears throat> in a way missed what graffiti was about for a long time just trying to find a star when that takes years years it takes years to be able to write a tag it's taken me 15 years to to fucking figure that shit out and um for me graffiti what graffiti is now is about the people that truly fucking live that life and they truly they go out day in day out and they 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 paint that which hands up I do not fucking do <laughs> but that is what graffiti is about it's not just I'm gonna go out and write my name it's just a whole lifestyle choice that you and you need to be in it fully in it <laughs> years of history within that graffiti subculture and just smashing that I came back from working in New York after a turbulent fucking 10, 12 years and totally forgot that I'd done all of that and started just trying to do pet portraits of dogs, um, animals, illustrations of animals. It was all incredibly illustrative work. Um, and from there, m my dad's always been super close to me and he, came home, I was living at home at the time, and he came home and he gave me 10 MDF boards and he just said, fucking do you, this isn't going to work. Um, and uh, that was where I started just drawing on the, th that cartoon imagery, which I'm now covered in from fucking head to toe tattoos. Um, and it's that playful imagery, that that we all know if you take that and then turn it on its head and create something totally new out of it that's what drives me in what i what i what i make and i love the the nostalgia side of it and everybody can relate to it and i think that's important i think art needs to be relatable i've always thought that <laughs>